Well, hey everybody, this is Wild Dandelion Jen. Welcome to my channel. And today I am participating with a bunch of other soapers, a collaboration for YouTube 2020. And it's called Weather the Weather. And it's based on our favorite season. And so I really like all the seasons, but one of my favorite seasons is spring. And then fall is after spring. And spring means to me new life, new growth, especially after a hard, cold, dry winter. And then we get to see life come about in beautiful greenery and plants and trees and flowers that bud. And so you can see this is my little front porch garden here that I have beautiful flowers growing for weathering the weather to come. So with that, let's get started. In this collaboration, I'll be doing a new technique, which is a pull through with a really neat pattern. And I'm gonna be doing this in a milk carton, which I have not done so far. And it's in a wonderful square shape. And so I'm really excited to see that. I'm going to be coloring these with natural ingredients and I'm gonna use peppermint essential oil. This is a very clean, basic soap with three oils, which is going to be canola, coconut, and sustainable palm. And then I'm gonna use beautiful natural colorants and clays to get that overall look, a little bit of orris root to help that essential oil scent stay in the soap. So first thing, I'm gonna work on my oils, which I've taken a tablespoon of canola oil and added a teaspoon of these dry powders. If there was multiple powders, I used a half a teaspoon of each. So we're starting with kaolin clay and fuller's earth, and that's gonna be my white background or as close to white as I can get. And this simply is gonna represent the rain that waters and nourishes all of the seeds that are waiting to come to life. And I'll do this for all the oils that have the pigments. Next, we have curry and a little bit of yellow clay. And that's gonna represent the sun that shines, that really brings the seeds to life as they reach up into the heavens and also is responsible for the beautiful uh, pigment chlorophyll, the green that we see in the living plants. Next, we have a little bit of French green clay and wheatgrass, and this too is gonna re represent the plants, the beautiful sprouts that come about everything begins green that grows. And then we have a little bit of dead sea clay and that's gonna represent the rain clouds. And lastly, we have a little bit of alkanet root and indigo powder. And this is gonna represent the vast blue skies. peppermint essential oil, crisp, clean spring air. Reminds me of the mint that grows. Here's my container with my wonderful little patterned pull through. I love square soap, so I'm really excited. So I've got this at about a 90 to 105 degrees for the oil and the lye water. And the lye water is just distilled water and about 20% uh, aloe juice. This is at a 3% super fat. Okay, perfect temperature. I think we're ready to begin. Now 
I'm gonna mix this to the very lightest trace because I really want to, this to stay nice and fluid uh, so that I can squeeze it out of the bottles and then pull that beautiful design through. So I do not want this to thicken up too quickly. And then when I'm finished pouring, I'm going to put this in a preheated oven that I pre preheated at 170 degrees and then I turned it off. So it's about 150 degrees when I go to put the soap in. I'm going to cover it with a plastic wrap top and then I'm going to allow that to gel for about 30 minutes. This is going to help to really um, hold those colors into a really vibrant state so that they are not dull but they kind of pop a little bit more than natural colors tend to do they tend to be more muted if you just let them uh, go slowly in the curing process so i'm going to speed that up to kind of lock those colors in Okay, I decided at the last minute to just put a little bit of my salt powder. It gets really powdered at the uh, top end of the grinder, and so it doesn't have to dissolve at this point into the lye water. I think it's warm enough to disperse this really fine dust. That'll help to harden the bar a little bit. I'll give that a quick little spin in there and get that dispersed really well, and then we'll be ready to put these into uh, the colors. I'm going to measure out between 3.5 and 4 ounces into each one of the five colors. I'm just making one pound of soap here. peppermint oil to each one of the containers and again I've added some orris root powder to each one of the colors so that that would help to hold that depth of fragrance okay we'll get these capped and shake the bottles up really well to get all the colors and the fragrance mixed very uh, nicely we don't want any separation to happen here, so we'll just shake these up and we'll let the layering begin. And in the description box below, I will have the hashtag for the collaboration group. And all you have to do is type that into your search bar and the list of all the fellow collaborators will be within that. And you can just have a soap watching marathon and go from video to video, do an autoplay, however you want to do that and keep checking back every day as people will be adding their videos. Sometimes they don't come all out at once. And so little by little, you'll see new videos show up at the top. So check back certainly over a week or two and make sure to hit every one of those videos because they're gonna be amazing. There are some beautiful, beautiful 
uh, artwork that is done within these soaps and it's so inspiring and I know that you're just gonna wanna have some of these soaps in your very own hands. Okay, so I moved the camera because I wanted to give you a top end view. I'm just letting that run down one of the corners so that it makes a nice pooling effect that spreads out with each color. And then when I go to drag that um, stencil through, it's going to leave a really beautiful layer design. I've not done this before. I have seen it done. I've always wanted to do it because it really... Um, speaks to that hippie California girl that I am and uh, so I really love that kaleidoscope look. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Here we go. So very careful. We wanna have every one of those beautiful designs in there with nothing muddied. Okay, so we're gonna get ready and cover this and put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, I will bring you back tomorrow for the cut. Be back soon. Okay, so now for the unveiling. Here we go with the cut. So excited. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, for my first try, you can see that each nuance is not perfect. Some of the flooding didn't make for a really perfect design, but still very lovely.
clips will be ready in about four weeks on Etsy, Rock and Spirit, or Wild Dandelion Soaps Co. LLC, or WildDandelionSoaps.com. Very fun. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to watch all the other amazing collaborators in the lineup. God bless. Make it a great day. Soul Soap. The Bible is the soap for the soul, and this beautiful soap is for the outside. God bless.